Hi, this is Justin Bevins again, and we're on video number nine in our home selling series where I walk you through what to expect if you're selling a home in California or Nevada. And on this video, we're going to be talking about accepting an offer and opening escrow. So at this point, you and the buyer or buyers have come to terms that are agreeable to both the parties, and the last signature has been completed on either the purchase agreement or the subsequent counter offers that came afterwards. Now you have a fully executed agreement, and you're, and you're considered under contract. Now the agents are going to open escrow with an escrow or title company. An escrow is a neutral third party that works for both the buyer and the seller, handling much of the paperwork and transfer process. You'll be assigned an escrow officer, and the first thing that they'll do is request that the buyers get their earnest money deposit in. Once they have that, escrow will draft your escrow instructions that will mirror the purchase agreement and will also include commission instructions. This will all get mailed or emailed to you for signature along with some additional paperwork. Escrow may also assist in ordering other items agreed to in the contract, such as the natural hazard disclosure report or the home warranty. They'll also often handle the homeowners association transfer and the property tax transfer. Now the title company is going to order a preliminary title report to help identify any possible title defects, liens, judgments, or other matters of record. Title and escrow are going to be with you until the end as title will record the transfer and escrow will usually close out the file and disperse all the funds. Now most of the inter interaction with escrow will be via email and mail and these days much of the paperwork can be done with electronic signature but there are a few items that have to be signed with a notary. A grant deed is one of them. It's very important. It essentially grants ownership to the buyers, and that document has to be signed in the presence of a notary. These days, because of fraud, escrow will often require that you use one of their designated notaries to sign that document or others. Sometimes documents uh, like wire requests and interspousal transfer documents also have to be notarized. So be sure that you do have documents, if you do have documents that have to be notarized, that you check with your escrow officer and whether or not they, they want you to use a designated notary. I want to mention one important note about wire fraud. If at any point you are asked to wire funds for any reason, contact your escrow officer or the person who sent you wire instructions and validate that it was a legitimate request for a legitimate reason and verify all the account information. And if you've instructed escrow to wire your proceeds at the end of the transaction, be sure you've given them accurate account information. And don't be surprised if they make you sign wire instructions with a notary. Or if you make changes to your wire instructions at any time, you'll also likely have to sign that with a notary. You see, wire fraud has been a real problem in real estate transactions in recent years, so everybody's being extra cautious. So congrats on opening escrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.